Live United. Just two words, but two words that together form an empowering message for all of us, reminding us that we all share this community and we are each in a position to make this a better place to live and work. Let's take a look at a recent example of how we live united. A fire is the kind of horrific event that could affect any one of us. A fire is also an event that can bring out the best in people, from the firefighters who risk their lives to save others, to the many agencies that step in to help the victims rebuild their lives. On July 8, 2009, this quiet field where I stand was anything but quiet, as York City Fire Chief Steve Buffington explains. The Chestnut Street Fire was a particularly challenging fire in that it was a very warm day. Um, the heat's a firefighter's enemy. They, they were very heavy gear to protect them from the fire. Um, so the firefighters were being taxed to the limit. Um, we had to rely on agencies such as the Red Cross and the Salvation Army to provide uh, refreshments for our firefighters, get them water and drinks to keep them cooled down so that they could continue to work the event. This horrific fire created incredible challenges for the 61 victims who lost their homes and everything they owned. As I was walking, I looked up in the sky and I could see, I said, that's our place, Jen. He was like, no, it's not my, I said, yes, it is. So I began running and I tried to run across to my place, but the fireman was like, get back. It's too late, it's gone. And I think it hurt so bad because it was at my house when I got there, the apartment. It was there burning up a flame. To, so I turned away and walked back, started crying. It was like everything I worked hard for, up in flames. It's amazing that with a fire of the magnitude that we had, that there was no loss of life and no serious injury to either firefighters or civilians. It was just an event where everybody came together and worked together to, to get the best possible result we could out of a horrible situation. It took firefighters many hours to do their work. The American Red Cross and the Salvation Army were with them throughout, providing support and care. And then something amazing happened. After the fire was extinguished, local citizens responded to the crisis. Local citizens like Bobby Bruner. My granddaughter was four at the time uh, of this happening. My daughter come to check on my mother and myself. So I talked to her about the fire and said, well, this would be a perfect time to talk to them about smoke and playing with lighters, matches, things that you would teach your kids. So she thought it was a good idea and we started crossing the street. My granddaughter just broke down and started crying. She was just telling me, pop, pop, help them, please help them, pop, pop. Sometimes I think kids can feel things that us adults can't. The next day, I, it just bugged me so much. I sat on my porch thinking, what could I do to help all the people? So I came up with this block party idea. And of course, I lived in this neighborhood, but I don't know none of the neighbors. So I went knocking on door to door. And that's how I met my neighbors. And they were all jumping at the idea of this block party. Bobby Bruner's block party and subsequent events raised funds for the victims. Bobby, other local residents, local churches, and three key United Way agencies went above and beyond to help the fire victims rebuild their lives. A one-stop shop was established at the American Red Cross where victims could meet with the representatives from different organizations, including the Salvation Army and the Community Progress Council. Many local residents responded by donating money, clothing, and household items. These agencies helped to manage this process so that these gifts made their way directly to the victims. In addition, the victims received assistance with finding new housing, replacement medication and mental health counseling. If it wasn't for the Red Cross and Salvation Army and CPC, I would be lost today. We live united in York County, so we're here for each other when there is a fire. But this is just one example of how we live united in York County. The United Way campaign provides financial support to 34 partner agencies that provide essential programs and service in three focus areas identified as key to a healthy community education, income, and health. These three focus areas are the basics for a happy and productive life. By supporting United Way, we help to make this a reality for York County residents. For those folks that are considering making a gift to the United Way, I'd like to say that I've been a contributor for many years and I'm, I get a lot of satisfaction out of knowing that my gift gives throughout the community and I would urge you to share your gift as well so that it makes the most difference.
my granddaughter, uh, <laughs> every day I see her, she tells me she loves me. Uh, uh, she thinks I'm her hero. I think she's my hero. I do like the idea with everybody united. Uh, anything's possible when you got people with good hearts. We are here for each other. The United Way campaign brings together local donors, volunteers, nonprofits, and companies in a common cause to make our community stronger. The United Way and their partner agencies are doing good work, and they need our support. Please support the 2010 campaign as we join together to live united.